What can you do with your 401k after you leave your job? If you are considering quitting or changing jobs, you'll need to think about what you will do with your old 401k plan. Here are some options but these options depend upon the plan documents of your current plan and any new employer plan you may join. In this video, we'll discuss all these options in detail to help you decide which option may be better than the others. What happens to a 401k after you leave your job? After you leave your job, you cannot make contributions to your 401k plan. However, the money you've contributed during your employment is still your money, and you have the right to decide what to do with it. What can you do with your 401k after you leave your job? The first option is to keep your 401k with your old employer. In most plans you have the option of keeping your 401k with your old employer if you have at least $5,000 in the plan when you leave the job. If the account balance is between $1,000 and $5,000, the employer has the choice to either allow you to keep the money as it is or roll the 401k funds into an IRA for you. If the fees are low and investment options are good, you may want to consider keeping your money where it is. In the meantime, you can start contributing to your new employer plan and allow the money in your old 401k plan to grow. The second option is to roll your 401k over to your new employer's 401k. This is the a common route people take. Make sure you do a direct transfer of funds and not a rollover. If it's a rollover, your employer sends you a check of the 401k amount, which you have to deposit manually into your new 401k within 60 days to avoid income tax on the entire amount and an early withdrawal penalty of 10%. This option makes sense when your new 401k has lower fees and better investment options than your previous employer's 401k plan. Or if you don't like to have multiple 401k plans and prefer having your money in one place, the third option is to roll over your 401k into an IRA. This is also a common choice for people who are leaving an employer, but their new employer does not offer a 401k plan. Rolling a 401k plan into an IRA requires you to do it through a brokerage firm or a bank separate from your employer. The most prominent benefit of a rollover to an IRA is that it offers more investment options with better control over your investments. Ensure that you choose direct transfer of funds instead of a rollover for the same reasons mentioned in option 2. If the IRA has lower fees and access to better investment opportunities, this move makes sense. The fourth option is to take distributions. If you are 59 and a half and above, you can take qualified distributions from your 401k without being charged a 10% early penalty fee. However, these distributions will be treated as income and taxed at your normal income tax rate. If you are over age 55 but not yet 59 and a half, you may take penalty free distributions from your 401k. This is only applicable if you are accessing the 401k from your current employer. If your 401k is left with your ex-employer, you'll have to wait until you are 59 and a half to take penalty-free distributions. The last option is to cash out. You also have the option to cash out your 401k when you leave your job. However, this is not advised because, if you cash out before age 59 and a half, You'll have to pay income tax on the full balance plus a 10% penalty on the withdrawal and relevant state tax if applicable. Your funds in your 401k are creditor protected. It means that your money is safe even when you file for bankruptcy. But when you cash out your 401k, your money can be seized by your creditors or bankruptcy courts. So, if you think you might need to file for bankruptcy, don't cash out. You rob your future self of compounding interest potential on investments. When you leave your job, you have these five options for your 401k plan. The best option for you will depend on your unique situation. Look at all the pros and cons of each option before you decide what to do with your 401k when you leave your job.